<laughs> oh, that's nice. Holy sh! Wow, the color looks amazing. Galio Orion. It looks like I had a color. It's a pearl. Yeah, it looks great. Pretty nice for an old guy, huh? Oh, you're not old. This is not a sticker, guys. This is actually in the paint. A lot of cards, what they do is they have a sticker, obviously, but this is freaking in the paint. You can't feel it. You can't peel it. This is this is amazing. Like the carbon fiber acts and touches on this thing, incredible. Jeez, this is crazy cool. Lamborghinis always make a statement whenever you see them, but this is like a statement on a statement. This is why I like it. He was raised on this in the womb. His mom's doing pregnant aerobics. He's like, oh, this beats fire, bro. It is fire. Fire! Uh, let's fire. go, girls. Bellies up, knees up. Dustin, why do you hate it so much? You need to learn about real storytelling. Uh, you need to learn about real people playing real instruments in a group at the same time, harmonized. You sound like a geezer. We're taking every window, getting this one ready for Houston summer. It's hot in the winter, too. That's true in Houston it is. You can't say that anymore. Getting ready for summer. We're getting yeah. ready for Houston, guys. That's pretty much it, guys. We're getting ready for Houston with this Tesla Model Y. Basically, we're taking every single window. All right, Dustin, don't fill up the whole screen with your big head. Whether your car is your daily driver to work or your getaway to an adventure, do it in comfort with PhotoSync window tint. Every window is now blocking heat from all angles. We have 30% on the sides, the back, and even the sunroof to maximize privacy and keep it nice and dark, while the front has a 70% to maintain visibility. The most popular setup for all Teslas. You guys might remember this Lexus LC500. We did this a while ago where we clear bought the entire car and we also put on new Boston wheels. Well, it's back in because we are actually gonna be lowering the car. It also came back in for a body kit installation. I'll show you that after we're done with the lowering spring so you can see the whole thing all at once. This is gonna just complete the whole project. We're using RSR so that way if you get the same ones, you can have an idea what it'll look like in case you are doing the same setup. This is the cleanest LC500 I've ever seen for sure. The silhouette looks perfect lowered since it has a long, low profile look already. Combined with the new aero kit, it's just so sleek looking. This is the Artisan Spirits kit, which includes the front lip spoiler and the rear diffuser. It's aggressive enough to stand out, but it doesn't clash with the smooth body lines. We painted this also to match the OEM color so it looks factory as much as possible. And since these are newly painted, we've clear brought them as well so they'll last a long time. Definitely one of the cleanest projects we've done. And he's gonna call me up and say, You're right, Dustin. I've finally grown out of this music. This music means nothing to me. He's gonna call you, you wise old sage. You son of a. Wise old sage? He's gonna be like, This music is nothing. I finally grew out of it. I finally grew out of that. Thing. I guarantee that's not gonna happen. I swear if you play this music for your kids in the womb, man. Are you kids in your womb? Oh my god. I shudder to think what evil spawn will be created. <laughs> Tesla Model S, we're gonna be putting on new wheels onto this one. We haven't done wheels on the previous gen nose cone Model S's in a while. It'd be a good way to freshen up the car because, you know, this is the, the previous body style. HF5. Gloss black. That's gonna look pretty good with the red. Now, usually we do a staggered setup on the Model S's. However, with this set, we're gonna stick with a square setup because we wanna be able to rotate the tires normally. We're gonna expect more of like an OEM fitment. The HF5 definitely adds a sporty tone to the Model S, and the best part is that it's still a square setup. You can still rotate tires like usual while looking good, and the open spoke design really showcases the red calipers and makes them pop a lot more now. I 
two weeks now. I think it'd do you some good to have some EDM in your life. No, Let's... it does really bad. It, it infuriates the soul because I know it, it's just all a ruse. It's a ruse to be like, okay, this is similar to music. There's nothing behind it. That's not true, Dustin. There's a lot of emotions behind it. No, no, There's a lot of vibes. Not all the it. ones that we've been hearing these last couple days. What are we doing in this car? This is oh oh oh. There's a lot of cool blue accents. Ooh, ooh, a lot of cool blue accents. Got little hexagon shapes. Tesla Model Three. We didn't do this. We didn't wrap this or touch this, but we will be. So we're getting rid of all the blue that you guys see. We're keeping the reflective decals in the back. So we're changing the blue that you see on the car to a different blue. Oh, that's nice. If you look at it at a certain angle, like if you look underneath like this angle, it looks rainbow. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see the purple. One of the more unique projects we've done for the Model 3 for sure. We get a lot of chrome deletes, but being able to do it in this cool shifting color was refreshing, with it changing from green to blue and purple. I like how you can look at the car in one angle, but you'll see different colors all at the same time. The stripes on the fenders is a nice touch too, since it adds a bit of sportiness to the car. And the color theme also carries through to the inside dash and the center console area. We also changed the wheels to Boston VFS 10 in Sam Bronze, and these give a better fitment than the factory wheels by pushing them out to the fenders, and the spoke design also gives more of an open area for the calipers to show through. Overall, really happy with how this project came out. I'm excited to see what it looks like in bright daylight. Let me know what you guys think of the color shifting and just the whole chrome delete in general. I think it's a really cool color. Definitely not something we do too often, so it's always refreshing to do something new and exciting. But that is it, guys, for the vlog. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to work in your car, so hit us up. Our kind of info is in the description down below. We will see you next time. Does it feel as good as it looks? Yeah, I saw you touch it. Does it feel good? I just... Just verification. <laughs> <laughs>